Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is Victoria. So today's video is going to be another grocery haul. Today I went to Publix and I spent about $120 today. Um, this probably is going to be the last big grocery haul in this house. We are moving two weeks from today, which is super exciting. I am so ready to move and my little sister is here. She's in the background watching TV. And also I have little Mr. Marvin right here. So I do have a meal plan, which I will list in the description box. Um, some pretty different meals, things I haven't made before that I found off Pinterest. So if you guys want to, um, me for, if you guys want me to link any of those recipes specifically, just let me know down in the comments and I'll do that. But I'll just kind of like list what the meals are that I'm making this week over like the next week and a half, kind of. I think I picked like six meals. So we'll probably eat out a few times, but this will last us like the next week and a half, maybe even for the rest of the time that we're here. Um, so yeah, so we'll go over everything that I got. I'll tell you what it's for and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is everything that I got today from Publix, like I said, and we'll start over here. So the first two things I got are these cream cheese blocks. I got two of them. I'm using that for a chicken recipe and then I'm also using it for um, a cookie recipe that I'm gonna make and then I got two of these ranch seasoning packets I'm gonna make this cracked chicken. I found the recipe for on Pinterest and then I also am gonna use it for oh I think quesadillas I'm gonna use it for um, so I've got that and then I got some bisquick. This is a really good non-dairy um, Like pancake mix and then I was out of cooking spray. So I got some olive oil cooking spray We're also gonna make some chicken alfredo. So I just got some alfredo sauce and then I found a really good recipe for some ranch chicken tenders. And you basically just um, mix the panko breadcrumbs with the ranch seasoning. And then you dip the little chicken tenders in eggs and then this. And then you just put them in the air fryer. So I'm going to try that. This is the bow tie pasta for the Alfredo. And then over here we have two things of taco seasoning mix. And then we've got some cheese. So I have mozzarella for one of my chicken dishes. Oh, actually, I think that's for the quesadillas. And then Colby Jack cheese for Devin for sandwiches. And then sharp cheddar cheese for something else I forget. Then we've got some potatoes. So we've got three regular potatoes and two sweet potatoes. I'm going to make homemade mashed potatoes, which are going to be super good. I found the recipe on Pinterest, and it sounds really easy. Um, basically, if you've never made them before, you just basically put them in your Instant Pot. It's easier to do it that way. You can boil them, too. Um, but you can put them in the Instant Pot, and it makes it really easy to mash up. And then I'm making sweet potato fries, which I love to make in the air fryer. And then Amelia got these Muddy Buddies cookies and cream. And then she also got another bag that she's eating right now. But these were buy one, get one free. So we got those. I love those. And then I got a bunch of bananas. I also got some Oreos. We're going to make some Oreo cookies this week. I found a really easy recipe with like cream cheese, flour, sugar, and maybe milk. I can't remember, but it's really easy. Um, so I'm going to make those. And then I'm going to do Hawaiian roll sliders. So I got a pack of the Hawaiian rolls. Those are so good. It's one of my favorite easy dinners to make. And then I got some more fruit, some strawberries and blueberries. Usually Publix berries are like three for 10. So that's why I usually get them like that. And then um, I got a bunch of chicken. So I got some chicken tenders, two of those tenderloins, some ground turkey, and then some chicken breast. So that's all the meat that I got. And then I got these garlic knots to go with our um, chicken alfredo. And then up here, I got these sesame hamburger buns from Pepperidge Farm. I'm gonna make that cracked chicken in the Instant Pot, and then I'm gonna put it on these buns as like, sam uh, like a sandwich, and I thought that would be really good. I found that recipe on Pinterest, like I said. And then over here, this has been my favorite breakfast lately. I got these Vans gluten-free blueberry waffles. I like them because they're dairy-free. Um, I love those with some vegan butter and some syrup on top. And then I got some more eggs. I like these eggs because they're local to Florida. Um, so I get those and they're not super expensive. And then I got some turkey bacon to make for breakfast. And also I think it goes in the cracked chicken. I think that was a part of the recipe. And then the last couple things over here, I got some ice cream. This is one that I really, really like. The So Delicious Cashew Milk um, ice cream is so good if you guys like dairy-free stuff. The dark chocolate truffle, it is really good. It doesn't taste too different than regular ice cream and I really like it. And then Amelia picked out this one. It's Rainbow Sherbet from Baskin Robbins. So she got that. And then I got some more cashew milk. I get the unsweetened original. It's my favorite non-dairy milk. And then um, also I've been hearing a lot that oat milk is really good. I haven't tried it yet, but 
I kind of keep forgetting to try it, but everybody says that that's like the best. So I'm going to try that next time. But we got some cold brew mocha almond milk coffee for Devin. He likes this. And then I'm going to make these like pizza bites. And so basically you take the biscuits and you cut them in half. And then you spread it out into a little circle and you put like pizza sauce, cheese, um, pepperoni, whatever you want inside. And then you kind of like fold it up into like a ball and then you bake them and you can brush like butter with Italian seasoning on top and you dip it in marinara sauce and it sounded really good. So I was going to make those. And then this is the last thing. I got some thin sliced smoked honey maple turkey breast. That's going to be for our sliders. And then Devin likes to make um, sandwiches with this as well. And then over here, I got one more thing. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been um, trying a bunch of the flavors of these Zevia drinks. This one's new to us. It's the ginger root beer. Everybody has said that this one is their favorite flavor. So we've tried the cola, the Dr. Zevia, the, um, which other one did we try? Oh, it was the, the dark cherry one. That one was pretty good. It was like a, like a cherry Coke. That one was pretty good, but everybody says that this one is really good. So we got this one to try. So that is it for today's grocery haul. I hope you guys liked it. Like I said, this is probably going to be my last grocery haul that I film in this house. So it's kind of sad, but kind of really exciting as well. And yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions about the meals that I'm going to make, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.